Hello, Video Maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a small handful of mods I use for a game called Prey that came out in 2017. Now, there was a previous uh, game called Prey that came out in 2006, but uh, there are no mods for that game as far as I know, so would love to have done a video on that. But we're going to go ahead and mod uh, Prey 2017, and there are about four mods I'm going to be using. Uh, the first one uh, will be called Better Scopes. Second one is Detailed Tooltips. Uh, the third one is called Undarkened. And the fourth one is the Interface Customizer. And I'll show you uh, uh, some of the things I do to change um, that in order to make the game uh, uh, just more enjoyable play-wise as far as some of the mechanics go. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, I will have the links below in the description of uh, the four mods. They're all on the Nexus site. Uh, the Nexus is free to sign up so you can download mods freely. Uh, they do have a premium option if you want to pay for the premium option, which allows for faster downloading. But the mods usually uh, download at a fairly decent rate, so no worries there. Okay, um, first one we're going to do is, uh, of course, uh, the Better Scopes mod. On the Nexus, just click on the File tab, select Manual Download, and then just simply save to where you want to save that at. Um, they will be in archive format, so just heads up on that. And then the second one will be Detailed Tooltips. Go to the file, select Manual Download, and go ahead and download the same way with that. Uh, the third one is Undarkened. And um, uh, this one, you know, do the manual download. Um, if you have the DLC Moon Crash, go ahead and manually download that. I don't have Moon Crash yet because it's a little too expensive as far as I'm concerned. Would love to get it, though, and play through Prey once again. And then uh, the last one is the Prey Interface Customizer. And again, it has uh, one download here. These are the old files, don't worry about that. Just get the current one, which is on top. Click manual download and download it to uh, the site or to your desktop, I'm sorry. Okay, now once you got them all downloaded, uh, ignore the readme in these two folders here. You know, you'll have your four uh, archives here. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to where uh, Prey is installed at. And in my case, and if you got the Steam version, you want to have Steam installed into the root drive uh, due to how uh, since Windows 7, uh, Windows has a security feature which kind of messes with things. So in my case, though, uh, C, Steam. Steam Apps, Common, and then Pray. And go ahead and just set right there. Okay, now uh, the first one we'll do is do better scopes. And so uh, find Pray Better Scopes. And then you want to unzip the file. And it's okay if you unzip it where you know the, your uh, file you downloaded is at. So. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to cut or copy the uh, patch J Raven's Immersion Better Scopes. And for this particular mod, you want to go into the Game SDK folder and paste it into there. Okay, come back out, uh, back one um, uh, screen, so to speak, on the, uh, uh, the Prey folder. And then we're going to go ahead and do detailed tooltips. So we'll go ahead and you'll unzip detailed tooltips and extract the file. Now you'll have a readme file, but you can go ahead and delete that. All we want is the English XML patch file and cut or copy. And then um, we'll go ahead and uh, install. We're going to go into the localization folder 
and go ahead and paste into there and go ahead and overwrite all. In my case, I'm using what's called TerraCopy as my copy and cut and paste uh, program instead of the Windows default. So don't let that throw you off. Okay, uh, the next one we'll do is undarken. Again, go ahead and unzip the file. Now, undarken will be in a folder on the current version. So we go into there and then we'll cut or copy and paste the patch undarken pack. And then for this, uh, we got to go into the game SDK folder and then go into the pre-cache folder and paste it into there. Okay, and then go back to the uh, uh, just inside the prey folder. And now we're going to do the interface uh, customizer. And once you already cut and copy and paste the undarkened um, file, go ahead and delete the folder. You won't need that. But go ahead and right click, or excuse me, go ahead and unzip uh, the prey interface customizer. Uh, go ahead and delete the two README files. You won't need those. Okay, now we got two files that we want to copy that should be left. The D input, a DLL, and the Prey Interface Customizer GUI. Go ahead and cut or copy and paste. And then uh, this one, we got to go into the binaries, Danielle x64, and release folder. And then go ahead and paste into there. Okay, we got all the mods installed in the correct uh, folders uh, for Prey. Now, uh, the next thing we do, i go ahead and close that out there, is the Prey Interface Customizer GUI. Go ahead and click on that. And just click OK. And there's a whole selection of options here, and you got like a total of four tabs to go through. And you got uh, these kind of like uh, canned uh, set setups, if you'd like. You know, you got the default, you know, for the options here. You can then do like reduced, uh, which reduces, you know, some of the, uh, the user interface elements. And then you got the immersive, which totally hides the user interface elements, except for certain situations, or some elements remain totally, you know, off the screen for you. But uh, in my case, I leave it at default. And now I just got to uh, remember, I think it's in miscellaneous. And I skipped the intro uh, videos, but I'm also skipping the second loading screen. And this is something you want to do. It's under the miscellaneous tab. And what it does is after, you know, loads up and whatnot, then you press, you know, at, that prompts you to press any key to uh, continue or to whatnot. And instead of, you know, having to do that, check marking the skip second loading screen, it, the game will just simply load up and then go into the next room or the next section of the uh, the space station, which Prey takes place in, or outside this uh, the space station on certain events. The other thing down here you can go ahead and change is... Um, and I'm going ahead and click Fix Sprint FOV. I want to keep that the same as what I select as. But uh, the regular FOV, sometimes it might not be enough for uh, you. So you can select it to wherever you want. Uh, the Near Weapon FOV, I'm going to change that about uh, maybe 75 for me. And that should be good. And then, of course, uh, we can uncheck Motion Blur. And uh, I'm going to uncheck Crouch Vignette. And what that does, it darkens the edges of the screen when you're sneaking. And, uh, yeah, why? <laughs> okay, after you've done all you want to change up stuff into the game, the Save button's on the bottom of the window, so make sure you click Save. And then you can go ahead and exit out of there. And um, 
So that's all there is. And then all you have to do is start up Prey. And, um, you know, if you've done like I did, it'll skip the intro videos and go straight to, you know, close to the main menu. And you won't have to worry about uh, pressing any key to continue when you get to a load screen. It'll just simply load right into the next section of the game for you. All right, hope this helps you out a lot and enhances your pl play for Prey 2017. Take care and God bless you one and all.